The movie is talking about the power and the fucking power of love. That can be scary, you know? La rue des notes, c'est où? Tu vas pas me faire un dessin, hein? Montre-moi avec des gestes simples, là, comme, euh, comme une hôtesse de l'air. C'est quoi le truc que tu parles pas, ça? Dans quelques mois, c'est l'oral du bac. I think why it's so important in people's life, it's because love, it's, um, it's like a place, you know, invisible place where you can really connect to somebody, you know, because I think people really want to experiment intimacy and it's a place where your in unconscious part can really talk. I think the real reason why people want to be in love is because they, they want to experiment intimacy to really discover themselves, mm -hmm. I think. And did you really have to go back to your teenage uh, period in life uh, and how you experienced love in that period? Because you're a bit older now and your character Lila is a bit younger? No, because I felt in love all, um, older. I mean, I was not a teenager, I was like 23 okay. yeah. and uh, the first time, I mean, the first love, it's not a question about uh, all I, it's a question about just like all the first experience that you have in your life, you know. It was quite awesome to, to feel uh, that love in between two people that couldn't communicate communicate in the beginning. Uh, what made you choose to write, direct, act and also edit the movie? What what made you do that? What was where did that start? What is uh, really great in art is uh, what you the stuff that you don't control, you know. And when you're doing, I mean, I was uh, preparing the movie and when I was shooting, I was really trying to be not thinking too much and really, you know, just following my feelings and uh, being instinctive. And uh, that's the way to let your unconscious part uh, talking, you know. And after that, when you have the editing, it's so concrete, it's so real. And you, ha you, you have your movie and it's like you have you yourself in front of you. In acting school back in the days, the teachers always told me to not direct yourself and not look at yourself from a third eye perspective. And how did, how did you do that? I mean, Yeah, it was very hard. That was a fucking schizophrenic uh, experience. I had to lose myself when I was acting to be really, really fragile, but fragile, sincerely, you know, fragile, my real fragility. And after I had to direct a big team. So it was like in the day, it was very schizophrenic, very much, very, very much. How did you communicate with uh, Guillaume Schiffman? Do I yep. pronounce right? <coughs> uh, uh, he won an Oscar for the, the artist. I love his work. Um, but how do you communicate with him? Yeah, my dad, GFP won an Oscar. <laughs> and you mentioned it. And Good. I mean, we talked uh, before the shooting, but when we were shooting, I was just doing like, <laughs> shoot, shoot, <laughs> and uh, you know, yeah, you prepare yourself, yeah, you do a lot of stuff, but. But do you rehearse a lot before you? No, no, no. I shoot a lot. I shoot like uh, I had two hundred uh, hours uh, of rushes. Yeah. If you see the movie, you're gonna understand why I, I've done this movie. Wat een heel mooie film. Um, ik heb vroeger zelf ook gestotterd, dus ik kon zeker uh, ja, dingen herkennen van angst om te durven spreken of zo. Dat kon ik zeker herkennen. Dus het was herkenbaar en, en, en leuk om te zien dat er iets mee gedaan wordt. Because I met those guys who made the club. You say that uh, of stuttering people, and they talk to each other. It's like alcoholic anonym, you know, anonymous, mm -hmm. but it's like uh, stuttering anonymous, you know, and they talk to each other and uh, and I, I met a guy there and um, so it was very strange. I was preparing the whole set 
And after I said, okay, break. And I spent like 30 minutes with him talking and I started to talk with him. He was stuttering and I started to stutter with him. And we were talking like that, you know, talking about everything. And I was stuttering, you know, and we started l like that. And it was like, <laughs> and I was, and after I was going to shoot the scene. <laughs> Ik ben diep ontroerd, um, vooral door de, de twee tegengestelden zeg maar, naast elkaar te zetten. En daarnaast ook uh, vond ik de muziek prachtig. Ik was zo so diep in love with my characters. Ik wilde to make everybody love them. Dat was mijn my, my diep fucking wish, you know, it was like Ton souffle tiède C'est informel What did the casting process look like? Two years Two years? Yeah Can you tell me about it? 600 guys uh, I casted 600 guys for the main role of uh, Mo When we were doing the casting, I, I saw in his eyes at one moment something very dark and uh, something about autodestruction, you know? And I felt, when I saw that look, I, I, I felt he has this destruction part in him and I want that and I'm going to fool that and I want to see that look again and I want that, you know? And it, it was a real suffering that I felt with him. And so the main fucking thing, and it was very hard on the set, was to make him in this mood again, you know? Really showing his real suffering. Alors tu devrais l'adorer, tu devrais l'adorer, le plus. Qu'est-ce que tu fais avec un gars comme moi J'ai rien à t'apporter, putain de merde